More than 89,000 Americans are waiting for a donor kidney, and so far this year only 6,900 have gotten one. Just more than 27,000 transplants were performed last year. Well, 12 days ago, a New Jersey patient became the first woman and the second living human to receive a kidney transplant from a pig. Tonight, Dr. John LaPook shows how a strategy never attempted before is giving her a second chance at life. When you came into the hospital, how sick were you? I was pretty much done. At age 54, Lisa Pisano's heart and kidneys were failing. I couldn't go up the stairs, I couldn't drive, I couldn't play with my grandkids. So when this opportunity came to me, I said, I'm taking it. When we admitted her to the hospital, she had two cardiac arrests. So that's how close she was to, to death. Dr. Robert Montgomery heads up the Transplant Institute at NYU Langone Health. With FDA permission, he and his team decided the only way to save her life was with a first ever approach, giving her both a mechanical heart pump and a kidney transplant from a pig. About to do something that no one has done. The human immune system rejects organs from animals, but Dr. Montgomery and his team used a pig kidney with one gene altered to make it more compatible. How did you know that the kidney was working? So you release the clamps and Lisa's blood goes into the kidney and it suddenly turns this beautiful pink color, like a healthy organ. This isn't just about keeping somebody alive, it's restoring them to their, their lives. How are you feeling today? I feel great today, compared to other days. As she recovers from surgery, Pisano dreams of playing with her two young grandchildren for the first time in years. What's the scene look like? Draw it for me. My granddaughter's, Gemma, Gemma, come on, running around in the backyard. My grandson's getting into anything and everything he can get into, you know, trying to do it both, and it's a wonderful scene. The transplant team hopes the one gene edit technique will make it easier to breed enough pigs to supply kidneys for more people on the transplant waiting list. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.